Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Tom, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. You ready to get started? Yep. All right. Our first question today is going to come from Rob Maddie with the Associated Press. Okay. Hey, Tom, congratulations. Obviously, every one of these is very special for you. What is it about winning this one in Tampa, first team to play a home game, Gronk being here with you for the ride, that makes it so much more special? Well, I think they're all special, and they're all uh... – this has been an amazing year, amazing year. We got to a good start, seven and two, and then had a little rough stretch where we kind of found our identity and um, played a lot better football down last December, January. And um, just really proud of all the guys, proud of all the uh, coaches, the effort we put in. Um, we knew we were playing a great football team tonight and we got the job done. So you want to get this far, you got to get the job done. And we did it. We'll go over to Mike Jones with USA Today. Tom, uh, Leonard was saying the late night you will send them texts and, and try to help them believe that you guys could win. Why was that important? And what were some of the messages that you were sending to your guys? I think everybody, you know, believed we could win. So, that, you know, I think through the last, uh, you know, really all year we believed in ourselves. Our coaches believed in us. We believed in ourselves. And, um, again, we were going up against a great team tonight and just happy we got the job done. We will go over to Rick Stroud. I know you're sharing this with a lot of new teammates, but one of your own ones, uh, you know, Rob Gronkowski, even uh, Antonio Brown did some nice things for you today. Can you talk about what it means to to share that again with those guys? Yeah, it's just uh, great to see them, you know, big time players making big time plays. So just love what they did, what they added to the team. Um, you know, Gronk's an unbelievable player teammate, talent, uh, work ethic, commitment. And A.B. is just, since he got here, he's just done everything the right way. So, so impressed by him, proud of him. Um, takes a lot of people for us to get to this point. And, uh, you know, we all have great support systems in place. And I think everyone should be celebrating him tonight. Robbie G. Robbie G. Congrats, baby. I'll see you later. We'll go to Greg Almond. Sorry about that. No problem. Hey, Tom, you always talk about how you don't go up against the other quarterback, but your defense has gone up against Breeze and Rodgers and Mahomes in the last three games. What have they done to be such a big part of these three wins? They stepped up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, you go up against a guy like Pat, incredible player. And um, Aaron, MVP, two weeks ago, they played incredible. And then uh, Drew, they played great. Um, they just, they stepped up, they rose to the occasion. And uh, we needed it because playing extremely talented offenses, but just so happy we, uh, you know, we all came to play tonight. We'll go to Lindsey Jones. A couple more. Hey, hey. Tom, you've, <laughs> hey Tom, obviously you've uh, played in a lot of Super Bowls. Now, what was it like to play in this most unusual Super Bowl in this most unusual circumstance with the lack of fans, all of the COVID protocols that you guys had to go through this year. Um, what was that a whole experience like? Yeah, we went through all of them and, you know, we dealt with them, tried to understand, um, you know, the challenges that were going to be presented. And uh, there was a lot of them, but, you know, there was no guys just did what we were asked. And we tried to just show up with a great attitude to work however it was. We were pretty fortunate on our team. Guys were really disciplined with um, all the protocols in place. And, uh, you know, we ended up getting the job done. You're looking good over there, big boy. <laughs> we'll go to Jory Epstein. Hi, Tom. Obviously, many of your teammates had a role in this win, but can you talk about Leonard Fournette's consistency throughout the playoffs, both in the run game and the pass catching game? He was amazing and, um, you know, just did it all. Blocked, ran, um, just had an incredible season. We got him pretty late. And he just showed up big. It was amazing just how he performed in the biggest moments. And uh, just so proud of him. We'll go to John Romano. Last one, Jake. Hey, Tom. I know you're in the moment right now, but have you given any thought to what this all means to your legacy 
to do this at this age with a brand new team with no preseason games, all the factors that you had to go through to make it to this point? You know, it's, man, we've been grinding pretty hard. So I haven't really had a lot of time to think about all the, you know, things like that. So I'm just blessed, grateful for my teammates, um, all the people that have supported us all year, my boy, Alex, um, you know, it's been a great year. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Enjoy your night.